In this age of video games, we seem to find a lot of games that are broken, or have something wrong with them that the game itself doesn't let you change, and this can be really annoying. But with the ability to mod our games, or use programs to make them work properly, we can find ways to improve the way our video games play. How many times have you jumped into Assassin's Creed Black Flag or Unity and started playing only to heavily notice the micro stutter in those games? You turn settings down that you should not have to in order to hopefully make the game run a little better, but even at lowest settings, the game still suffers from micro stutter. Well, there's a fix for that. Because of a handy little program called RevaTuner, you can enable triple buffering in these games and any game that has this issue. Now, what is triple buffering? Triple buffering simply buffers one extra frame to the CPU instead of two. This extra frame gives enough time to correct more issues such as frame tearing and vSync. It also has its drawbacks though. An extra frame being buffered by the GPU means that it must use more onboard GPU memory to store and buffer that frame. Regardless of the negatives though, this will improve how your game runs. To use this, simply download RevaTuner, which I've put a link for in the description. Install it, then go to Program Files 86 and find RevaTuner. After that, go into Tools, then 3D Overdriver and open the EXE. After that, all you have to do is open the program you wish to enable triple buffering for, and once that is done, you can enjoy your game. But you do have to have 3D Overdriver open for it to work, so I suggest you make a shortcut handy. And now the game will run almost flawlessly. You may have to turn a setting or two down because of this, but at least the micro stutters aren't an eyesore. This next one is my favorite, as I suffer from motion sickness and there are still a lot of games that don't have FOV sliders. This program is called Flawless Widescreen, which implements an FOV override in the game that you're playing. Unlike 3D Overdriver though, this program has a list of games that it's compatible with, but adds more as time goes on. All you gotta do is download it, again link in the description, open the program, select the game you wish to adjust the FOV for, then move the slider. Once you launch the game, you'll find that your character is much further away, and not only can you see more of your beautiful surroundings, but you won't be suffering from a low FOV anymore. Now, of course, the drawbacks of this is that your card will have to render more land around you, so if you run into frame rate issues, you can turn a setting down or two, or use 3D Overdriver to enable triple buffering. <laughs> I kid, that doesn't work that way. This next one is for those of you who want to use controllers. You've probably heard it many times that you can use any controller you want to, and that's true. But Microsoft wouldn't dedicate a little extra time to give you that freedom right away. Instead, you gotta go get a program. If you want to use a PS4 controller, download DS4 Windows. A DS3 controller? The program is called Better DS3. What about GameCube controller? Well, you actually have to either purchase one with a USB end or buy an adapter, but after that they work flawlessly, and same with pretty much any controller made after the Wii. The Wii Remote, surprisingly enough, can just Bluetooth to your PC, which is pretty neat. It's amazing to me that if a game is not made well, or is missing a setting that we need to have in order to play it, it's something that we can change. The fact that we can do that is amazing, and these are just the programs. There are thousands of mods for specific games that do the very same things to improve your experiences. Without 3D Overdriver and Flawless Widescreen, there would be a lot of games that I'd have to miss out on. But this is really nice, and another major reason that PC is my platform. Now if only I could download a program to delete bad rats. <laughs> Enjoy your games, guys.